We have returned to this room in the very first area because we can break that. I forgot about that. Okay, we're probably gonna do that from a greater distance, so I have to get you out of the way first. Frick. God, you guys are so annoying. And I missed. Oh, but I didn't load to the next area. Now let's try it out. Hmm. God, that is annoying. At least I want to kill those guys again. <laughs> Maybe you need like a triple charge. Yeah, I thought for a second it did a triple charge, but I guess it di didn't. Crossed it, but that cancels my thing anyway, so that can't be what I have to do. Hmm. I think like just as soon as I go off the edge, I should shoot it. God. Like, what do you need to do here then? Alright, you know, let's worry about that later. That's more annoying than I anticipated. But now we can finally open that stupid locked door that's been bothering me since the beginning. God, even this is longer than I anticipated. I should just warp to respite at this rate. God, that was a long hallway. Maybe if I charge it for a really, really long time, it'll shoot even farther. And I'm just not going far enough. So we'll try that after we get through this locked door business over here. Shrine of Resurrection, basically.
Restoring the Aegis Cure, yeah. The Aegis Cure, crafted long ago by the ancients, holds the power to ease the suffering of priests who absorb blight while performing purifications. This power has been weakened by repeated purifications by priests over many years. The power of an ancient spell can be used to restore its power and help the white priests. If you can decipher the stone tablet, I am prepared to restore the Aegis Cure. Yeah. I wish I could decipher the spell myself, but alas, I have little time left. Yeah, those seven tablets! That's right! Is this where we're gonna find one of them? Okay. Oh no! No, this is where we're going to bring them after we're finished. I see. Well, I just wish there is a more convenient warp point here, but I digress. All right, so let's try to build this speeder for even longer. This guy clear up more of the road. I guess we'll just start from here then. One, two. That still didn't work! That didn't actually make a difference at all. What the frick do we have to do here? I give up. I'm gonna look up a walkthrough for that later. So let's go back to other places. Yeah, let's just get the castle over with. Alright, so I think we get over there by going to the locked door that's up here. And now I have to do this kill room, because this game is annoying like that. Is this door double duh?
Uh -huh, you can't get me in the cutscene. Nah, 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 nah. There's still like a collectible in here. I guess we'll just explore a bit. Ah, that's what I missed. <laughs> oh my god, quite the thing to miss. That's probably like the most useful item you can find. This allowing yourself to equip more badges. Being the first Ages Diary 3. The battle was long, but we have emerged victorious. Our attempts to find a way for our people to coexist bore no fruit in the end. The land will be divided into six nations. I'll rule the land to the end. The land Floyd on me is said to be cold all year, and some remnants of the ancients will remain. There will be much hardship ahead, but as king, let's remain strong. Then I gotta spend some upgrades. Probably a few upgrades I could use in that fight, too. So that's not how we get downward. Oh, we found one of these. That's good. Bet you one of the other ones is in that place we can't get into. Because I can't figure out how to. Okay, so there's another way we need to get into that room. Let's keep looking around, I guess. Yeah, I don't see, like, a door there. It could still be a way we can fall in from. Like from the the same room, and that's but of course not going to depict that on the map. Hmm. It's like you can get in from the right potentially. Okay, I guess we'll just keep exploring this room, see if we can find a way. it all off. Are really in, in, in this room. Can we climb up here? Oh my god, we could have climbed up here all along. The body betrays you. I must protect the king! Finally. Should have known that. Uh, that minor dead end would have been for something. Hmm. Didn't find everything in that room. Let's look down there, I guess.
Ah. Yeah. Huh. How do we get in there? Wait. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, we just climbed in. We just climbed into a place. I thought we just did. That's... No, that's the thing we can destroy. Okay. That's easy. There's still something hidden here. Oh, and there's the, the stronger one, of course. Eighty-seven. Oh, you absolute jerk. I like how easy that one is to reach. Yeah, we should be upgrading our spirits by now. Yep, I'm happy to have you at max, because you're actually pretty strong. At this point, I'm really not sure what I should upgrade. I guess you deserve some upgrades, don't ya? Yeah, we'll go here first. Let's work our way over. the wall because you're a dummy. <laughs> Put slide on? No. No, no, no. Okay. <sighs> nope, we should have warped over here apparently because this I, these battle room gates don't stay open. It's like the most noteworthy aspects of bad design in this game. <laughs> Those gates just don't stay open. Oh yeah, no, 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 we already been through here. I remember this. So 
fucking frick are we missing in this stupid room? What could we possibly be missing in here? I can swear I searched pretty thoroughly. Bad. We'll just have better luck with this room, I hope. Yeah, and this is a pretty small room, too. I feel like there's gonna end up being one more move we're gonna get. It's gonna be like some kind of another special jump or some bullcrap. That'll explain some of these setups. Not even gonna bother with the room on the left. For all I know, that's there's another locked door scenario, and I can get it now. I'm already growing impatient with this place. Now, that room definitely should have the, uh, the locked door that we can open now. Because remember, it's in that floating water area. <laughs> birds versus birds. So many collectibles up here. Another tablet fragment. Writing on the wall. I was never allowed a shred of human dignity. I thought he might acknowledge presence my strength. No, it wasn't enough that I pulled myself up from the depths of hell to get here. He only ever had eyes for himself, and now he's trying to take everything from me once again. And we'll let that happen. I'm going to take it all back. All right. What's this little nook for? Weird. And what does that activate? I guess but that's just activate that elevator, I guess. There's still something here. All right, we have to go back up. How can there still be something here? Sure, you use that at good timing, actually.
Maybe it's in that little dead end area, because that just looks a little suspicious. I just missed it. Yeah, what's all this for? Seriously. Could be up that wall. We're gonna get, like, the triple jump later on. I don't know anymore. At least we covered 90% of the map golden. Let's go in here. Oh, yeah, there's... We gotta, like, be able to cross this huge gap somehow. That's probably going to be the answer there. Alright, well, never mind that, then. It's probably just advanced to, like, the, the next area. So maybe now there's going to be two more bosses. The boss that gives me the extra special jump and the boss that will, uh, and, 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 and then the final boss. So, there's so many two bosses left in this game. Yeah, that room to the right, I don't know how to deal with. These freaking doors are sealed. How do we get through them, then? No, it's a kill room! That's right. I forgot this was a kill room. Yeah, we still need the locked door power, so we're on the right ball here. Fine by me. Ha, completely missed me. Well, I think I found the perfect spot where he won't get me. Now these things just have a lot more HP. <laughs> just tedious, if anything. There we are. And I did all that for... Another fragment, fine by me. And that'll be all in this room. Okay, let's see that very bottom door here, see what we can do about that.
What? How do we open this? Is there a lever down there? No, that's just the load zone. So we gotta figure out how to open this. Is it a kill room? Is this whole room a kill room? now. New? Is there a hidden lever somewhere? Y'all making it easy to get up there, are you? There we are. No, that's not even a stupid wall. How do we get up there? I guess we have to come all the way to either side, apparently. kill all the enemies now. Let's see if it's open. What are we missing? we're meant to, like, climb up there from somewhere else. Still haven't figured out that thing in the, the water area. Maybe that leads up here somehow. It's like, I didn't, I don't remember any locked doors in that area, so maybe we need the triple jump there? Presuming we're gonna get a stupid freaking triple jump? Freaking off colored. Oh, that is so mean. Yay, solve that mystery at long freaking last. We should be overloaded for this room, considering we could have got here a lot earlier. Let me guess, we're gonna fight the mini boss version of these things. How hard could that be? Oh, okay. We're gonna fight a mini-boss spider? Nope, just a collectible. One of our ranks made it out here. Yay, we finally found another one of these! Using that immediately... I think like both these rooms, I tried to thoroughly search, but could find absolutely nothing. So I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt it again right now. Let's just come down to this level. Yeah, that door, there's a door at the top, no. That's gonna like, that's still gonna involve like the stupid triple jumping bullcrap, won't it? 
Let's just search this room first, I guess. What did that one activate? I never noticed all these switches down here. What are they for? Okay, this one does something. Never notice all those switches down there. That's that's interesting little puzzle. I like that. <laughs> I can kill you guys in one hit now. should never have come here. I left all the collectibles in this room at least. Goodbye. I think I want to go skyward, actually. Boy. Oh, we can get that now. Good. Very good thing to have.
Ah, there's what we're missing. Damn sinners, you'll pay for this! Alright, well, I guess we'll just go to that room on the right now. See if we can, uh, get up to that ceiling. Apparently never tried to go up here. Alright, that was easy. Perfectly easy. Aura's ring, increased spirit uses, nice. Alright, we're essentially 100% done with... Oh, my apologies, I misspoke. There's actually a whole other door we haven't gone into. Let's see if we can get there now. I feel like it's gonna be another freaking triple jump deal. Oh no, we'll see. Or maybe we just had to do all this. Okay, now we did the locked door ability. We can do this now. Whatever. Fragment. Nice. Good finds, good finds all around. Just want to double check if there's not another door here. Yeah, I think we can move on. Now we should be 100% done with this uh, level. Yeah, I'd like to go back here, please. Let's just double check once again what we actually need to do in this freaking room that's been bothering me forever. Ah, oh, that's right, I turned the stupid thing off. So now that's gonna massively damage me again. <laughs> I need over here. It kind of just looks like I need to do some Celeste nonsense. Yeah. I kind of do. Oh, that's what you need to do for that. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a lot easier than I was trying to do it. Oh, and I messed up though. But that's actually really easy. I was double jumping before air dashing. You had to do, you had to just let yourself fall, air dash under this, and then jump to grab the other side. It's so freaking easy. But they need the locked door ability to get here anyway, so even better. This, I bet this is gonna lead to another stone tablet. <laughs> And this, that's fine too. 
And another badge, even better. Oh, no, that's a stone tablet. Yep. Well, what's over here? Probably some lore. Eileen's Diary 3. My conversations were meandering today, but I got to see Freddy smile. It's been hard watching her deteriorate more with each passing day. She asked me if I could help make an amulet out of her broken magic stone. That alone made today a joyous occasion. Maybe I'll bring some comfort to her after all. Perfect. Done with this place at long frickin' last. Well, before we re-explore this, this place and try to find everything... Oh, there's a downright area. I mean, we could try to, because why not? I mean, there's... I, I know I saw at least one locked door in this place. There might be more. Oh, we gotta put the thing back on, right? We're gonna re-explore this place again. <laughs> Yeah, and here's the first one already. The Abyss! Whoop! You're just ripping off of Hollow Knight, for sure. The blight hangs even thicker in the air here. Be on guard. Well, lies ahead as an area sealed off long ago. Yikes, we are just taking massive damage here. Good, a safe area! Thank you for this freaking safe area. Not that it amounts to much. Ah, uh, breath. But I'm standing in, like, the poison water, so it's... Okay, so the actual shallow poison water doesn't hurt you. That's good. Wow. Wow. God dang. Okay, what we need are those extra health replenishers. That's actually a requirement at this point. Level. Yeah, like a few of these things don't really matter here. I guess I'll take out the extra EXP too. I still need one more. I mean, that'll actually be helpful. Okay, I'll sacrifice this. Okay, I'll sacrifice the potency of the healing prayer.
stupid! <laughs> Maybe I could use the potency of the healing pyre after all. Yay, next room. It's not poisonous anymore. Odd. <sighs> the desolate pact. Only hard market priests are permitted to perform the necromantic rites that entreat the souls of the dead. A warrior of the ancients must forfeit flesh and offer their soul to the priests in turn becoming a deathless entity. The pact is then sealed and continues down the family line through generations until the bloodline comes to an end. The ancient warrior shall remain immortal so long as the pact continues. Yay. This is one of our warriors consumed by the blight. Oh! Oh! Odd! We're getting a special cutscene. We were the last ones left alive. Please give me like the super ultra trump that'll help me get the rest of these collectibles. An undying warrior's end comes upon the death of the priestess to which they are bound. And the hour of death has come from my priestess and I. My eyes grow dim. Seemingly our decaying corpses will remain. Farron, Eldred, is... The battle is lost, our homeland stripped bare. What fate awaits the people who have lost everything? Hatred is the vilest blight, unaffected by purification it festers, rotting one from within. Listen well, Farron, last of the undying warriors. The bond of the deathless pact will pass on to a new priestess. I beseech thee, carry us in your memories. So that's us, right? Is fair in our mom? Be the guardian of the lost pre the last priestess of our ancient society. No, <laughs> oh, I won't. Uh, so we get two of those. Okay. So our ultimate reward is two of those power ups. That's fair enough. 
Rest in peace, my brother at arms. I lost the priestess that I was meant to protect long ago, and I've been imprisoned here ever since. That I met you, the carrier of our ancient bloodline. My first thought was to break the bonds of the pact. By my own hands, I would end it. But as we traveled together, I came to a realization. I was once supposed to protect the priestess of this land long ago, and I'm still meant to protect her. We are the last hope of the ancients. Together we can free the white priestess of the fount. I believe this to be the sole wish of the ancients. A wish and people long since consumed by the blight. Not, not to be confused with the other ancients who were consumed by the end. And a stone tablet. Okay. Definitely get quite the hefty rewards for climbing down here, because my word was that was that painful. What's this? Yeah, teleporter back up. <laughs> that's that's a new mechanic. <laughs> we could have easily like quit warped. I mean, menu warped rather. Woo! Well, that was a worthwhile journey. You cannot deny. Okay, how do we get frickin' up here with this bloody-ass map? Okay, let's try that top right room first. That I think that might have been the first room we saw a locked door that we couldn't go into. Now I can take off my... It was just like going into a boss fight. <laughs> Had to put on my... Uh, healing prayer upgrades. Oh, I still have one on, apparently. You know what? I don't care. That's fair enough. Well, I got my EXP boosters on. Oh my god, I totally forgot to equip those power-ups. I'm so dumb. Could have been doing some serious damage by now. There we are. In fact, you're a freaking uh, mini-boss, aren't you? <laughs> Hermitant Champion. Yeah, just freaking these guys again. Ah, <laughs> you're so weak. Before the Vermitant Champion shredding airborne enemies with his very sharp claws. That's awesome. Despite being blinded in battle, driven by some purpose, the Swarm Knight was able to cling to his humanity. Escaping the slockade, he headed to the Vermitant Quarter and entered Faden's lab. Cool. Well, that does it for this room. Nice. Let's remember to equip those freaking power ups now. Nice. 